Hey, wonderful people, how's everybody doing? I need, a, I need to ask you this question, all right? Haven't we had enough of this why I left Ghana bullshit? Honestly, haven't we had enough? Now, I'm going to read this. This is a comment that I had from somebody's video and somebody commented. I'm going to read it. From your narrative, obviously, you went to Ghana with a selfish intention and that's there is and 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 all that there is in it for you not for others it's a shame life never works out that way you may now go live your selfish life elsewhere wishing you all the best you are misleading your viewers in fact you are seeking u.s citizenship you just can't live outside the u.s for a stipulated period of time go get yourself your u.s citizenship and leave ghana alone and in peace your endless ranting is enough. There's another one that I want to read. It says, I'm an African. And this, this, this comment is towards the person. So I'm going to read everything. I'm an African. Funny how I knew you were Caribbean even before I heard you speak. Just by looking at your eyes and facial structure, I knew. I'm glad you people realize that Africa is for Africans. Period. Our home is not your experiment. Our culture, looks, food, languages are completely different. And that is okay. We can build our continent ourselves. This is a comment that I had on or that I read from a, um, a YouTube video. Now, this YouTube video is about why I left Ghana bullshit. I'm going to add the bullshit to it because enough is enough before i go on i want to say shout outs to everybody who is working with me who calls me brother who calls me family who checks up on me all the time shout outs to all of you this video is not for you but it's for them those other people who think that they can use africa as an experiment and this is so sad that this is coming from me I've never made such a video because I don't care how you feel when you come to Africa, especially those of you who think that you can come in and experiment Africa and go out there and make nasty videos. How many videos have you seen from an African who's lived in Africa and now living in Europe, living in USA, living in USA, living in UK, making a video saying that enough of that country. Why are Africans in diaspora, some of you, why have you decided to sell Africa negatively? Who asked you to come here? First of all, I am, you can see the environment. The environment is different because I'm not in Africa right now. I'm not in my beautiful country, Ghana central region cape because i am not i am in a different environment altogether because i decided that i want to be here i decided upon all the places in the world decided to come and spend time here so when i come here and things doesn't go the way i want it i do not have the right to go sit on the internet and say bullshit about this country and that is what some African diaspora are doing. And what do you think you are doing that for? To do it. This has been done way back. There are people who have done it and have died. And people are still doing it. And what do you see? You still have people visiting the beautiful motherland. It's so unfortunate to sometimes get online and read comments, watch videos that are so bad and negative about Africa, especially Ghana. And you think your one video is going to do it? Change whose mind? <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I wanted to be so harsh on this one, but I have people who look up to me. I have people who expect me to sell my beautiful Africa, so I will not. You can go ahead and make nasty videos about Africa. Your views will never change the the narrative of, of, of Africa. And it's so sad that some of these videos come from the brothers and sisters from the Caribbean. Some of you. Shout out to all of you with positive mentality, open-mindedness. You come out here 
with nothing, with your few dollars, and then you want to, what, dictate what we should do. You are not. I'm telling you to your face, you are not. And it will get to a time. Some of you will never get a chance to come to Africa. Yes, you. You are watching me. Yes. Oh, so he's seen my video and he's making, uh, he's replying. I'm not replying your fucking video. I'm trying to tell you that you will never change the narrative of Africa. We are who we are. We have lived years. Our ancestors have lived years. Whether with light, without light, with water, without water, food, without food, we still live. And then you come to Ghana, central region, you get your own negative, selfish mentality. So since you couldn't feed that ego, you, feel, you couldn't feed that you are looking for, you go out there and you make videos tarnishing the image of Africa. And you think what? <laughs> you are funny. You don't, you don't change shit. And, and the thing is, why did you even come to Ghana to come and live here with your chicken chain dollars? To come and live here and when he came and you started fucking around with a man you see it's it's so it's so unfortunate that things must come or must happen this way and it's so unfortunate that i have to get involved with some of these things i wanted to to, to speak at the at the at the toppest level of my voice but i'm taking it easy to let you know that africans is not for everyone to let you know that Africa is not for everybody. So if, if you think that you can leave wherever you are, come to Ghana and experiment. Maybe you're an agent. Let's call it that way. Because I've seen a lot of people, some of you beautiful people say, Echo, be mindful of some of these people. They are agents. And it's truly yes. Because, listen, you leave your country, wherever you think you come from, as a black person, as an African descent, you come to Africa, the motherland, and then go back, sit on the internet, and with your mental rightness, you start making ill videos about Africa. What, what do you want? And, and so, okay, you have, let's say, 1K followers. You are trying to be a YouTuber. You are trying to be an influencer. You are nothing. You are, oh God. Shout outs to my beautiful people who follow me and who understand that Africa is not for everybody. USA is not for every African. Canada is not for every race. If you think you can come to Africa, make nasty videos and go out there and feel like, yeah, and and when I went to Africa, there's no water flowing, there's no electricity, there's no light, they are, they are cheap, they take your money, they do that. What was your mentality when you were coming? What did you really come here to do? There is much we will talk about, but we will, chance, we will just stop here and read the comment that I read to you right now. What's my phone? I'm going to read it again. I'm an African. Funny how I knew you were Caribbean. And... You see, it hurt that Wadamaya, I wouldn't say he's wasting his time. It's, it, it hurt how he, this guy is traveling all over the Caribbean just to make us understand that we are one people. What negative thing did Wadamaya even talk about? What neg negative thing did I even talk about? What negative thing do people talk about with the Caribbean? Then you come to Ghana with your low self ass, come here sleep with men in Cape Coast, Central Region, thinking we don't know, and then you come out here acting like you're superhuman. I'm sorry. And it's so unfortunate that this is going to affect people who are around you that I love so much. Yes, but I'm coming straight to you. If you come to Ghana, you make a video, a nasty video, we will come after you. Straight. Believe it or not, we will come after you straight. It is about time. God. What do you have to offer you? You making that negative videos about Africa, Ghana. What do you have to offer? 
Have you even sent a child to school in Ghana? Have you even sold a uniform? If, if you think you are, you, are, you are rich enough, you are, you are affluent enough, do something and let's talk about it. What have you done? Fortunately, there are some stupid people like Africans who would couture to some of you. Some of you. Like I said, I have beautiful family out there. And this video is not for you. You see, shout outs to Mr. Lane. Shout outs to, to, to a lot of people who are currently living on the motherland. And they are happy. They wake up in the morning and say, I say, God, thank you for bringing me to the motherland. And some of you think you can make, you see, all those ranting will never, ever change anything. If it will change, it has changed long time ago. Stop it. I'm, I'm, I'm in a cool mood. Somebody sent me a video about someone saying why I left Ghana bullshit. And you are not the first and you will never be the last. We don't give a fuck. We don't care. The fact that you feel you're living in a, in, in a country where there's water all the time, there's electricity all the time, there's, there's uh, uh, um, junky food all the time. You come out here, you spend a whole year here, do whatever you want to do. You go out there, you feel like you're a queen. Yeah, I went to Africa, I went to Ghana, I went to Cape Coast. They don't have water, they don't have this. It will get to a time we will face some of you like this. Sorry that I'm being like this. If you, if you may want to unsubscribe, I don't, I'm, I'm cool. But what I'm trying to say is that should we go on, should we go ahead as Africans, African descent, coming to Ghana, coming to Africa, use Africans as an experiment, and you go out there and then you say whatever bullshit you want to say. What do you have to offer? That is it. You, what do you have to offer? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Africa is not for everybody. Eh? I'm telling you, Africa is not for everybody. We are, some of us don't want to be so violent, be so negative with certain things. Chicken chain dollars thinking that you come here and control people. Yes, we are poor. We like it like that. Africans are poor. We, we love it. Thank you. We love it. We wake up in the morning with a beautiful sunrise there. We wake up in the morning, fresh air. We wake up in the morning, communal living community. Oneness. We wake up in the morning and we say, ah, shit, thank you, God. Our ancestors for giving us life. If you can't live in Africa, don't try. It's hard. It's very hard. I made a decision to come here, where I am right now, to spend some time, whether to stay or to spend some time. I made that decision. So whatever the system runs, I cannot go back, sit on a camera, and talk ill about Canada. I will never do it. Most Africans will do it. Born and bred here. We respect on, until you step on that toe. My brother, my sister, I'm telling you. I keep, I keep telling a lot of people that when you're coming to Africa, come with open-mindedness. So you expect that you come to Ghana from the Caribbean or from USA, from Canada, from UK, Germany, come and live here and expect things to be done the way you want it. Master, we've lived here for years. We are okay. You may not be okay. I'm okay. Stop this. It's not going to help nobody. Thank you very much for checking me out. Big ups and much love to the people who support me, who look up to the thing that I do. And sorry that I had to step on this. I had to, to come out like this. I'm not like that. You've never seen me like that. But I had to come out like that. We don't have to allow that. I won't blame anybody. I'll blame our so-called government officials who do not know what to do now if not you can't just pick a plane and come to africa go back make a video say shit you want to say shit about about ghana my city cape coast 
it is what it is thank you very much for checking me out I can put up a comment say whatever you want to say but hey we are proud to be africans and we'll make africa great whether with you or without you peace out